Scarborough. Madam Speaker, and it is a pleasure for me to rise on Inter International Women's Day on behalf of the people of Scarborough Guildwood who have elected me for this, the last 10 years. As we reflect on this year's theme, Embrace Equity, we understand the importance of honouring the struggles and celebrating the achievements of all women who contribute to the history of this province and who continue to shape the values and the traditions that we share today. It is both a day to celebrate the achievements of women and girls and to focus on the challenges that we still face as we work towards gender equality. In continuing these important efforts and building on the success of pioneering women who came before us, we carry forward the critical mission of embracing equity. We must ensure that every young girl and woman has equitable access to resources in this province. We must ensure that every young girl and woman has access to the opportunities that fit their unique needs and circumstances. Our role is to empower them because they are the trailblazers who will make the bold changes that we need in our world today. As we mark International Women's Day 2023, it is important to remember that this day is rooted in the collective actions and movement of women who came together on March the 8th for the goal of equal participation in society. Women have made important gains in representation in recent years, and while the bar has been raised, the pursuit of equality through to equity continues. Women make up 50.7% 50 50 of Canada's population, and here in Ontario, women make up the majority of the essential front workers in se sectors that include health care and social services. And women also represent the majority of workers in the education and the child care sectors, which are vital for our ch children's well-being. It's been established that women were and continue to be disproportionately impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, both economically and socially. So we must be mindful of women's participation at all levels and at, at all at all, in all levels and all sectors of the labour market. This includes the need for women in leadership. Sorry, speaker. Let's make sure. This includes the need for women in leadership roles in corporate Canada. Today, I joined women at the Bay, who are the, the leaders in that corporate space, um, representing gender parity in their leadership ranks. Making this happen requires support and meaningful assignments along the way at every stage of a woman's career. I want to note the Prosperity Project's annual report card, which tracks women in leadership positions in Canada's largest public and private companies and Crown Corporation, and it raises the concern that nearly 35% of corporate director roles and nearly 32% of corporate executive roles are being filled by women. And this is about the same or slightly better than the previous report card. This tells us that we have a long way to go. The report finds that there is serious underrepresentation of women who are Indigenous, Black, or 2S LGBTQIA+, as well as a decline in women having move to senior management roles um, as well. So we have to ensure that the pipeline is ready to be filled. 